Very warm welcome back. This is the big break. Our first contestant this evening we just heard from. He, he was Charles Almamory of Pax Kent International talking about his new concept for furniture. Thanks for all your SMSs about that. It is elimination night. One company will go through to the next round and the chance to win that fantastic prize. Quarter of a million dirhams of ARN advertising plus free office, free business setup for a year at Dubai Airport Free Zone. So we move on to our second contestant this evening. A real pleasure to welcome into the Dubai Eye Studio, Devayani Dayal of She Moves Company, which uh, specializes in activewear and dancewear apparel. Devayani, great to see you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. You have two minutes to tell us about your company, She Moves. Hi, guys. Um, okay, here goes. First thing I wanted to say is I'm really excited to be here. Okay, so let me tell you about my company. We are obsessed with movement. That's really what the company's about. Uh, we sell, in a nutshell, dancewear and activewear. So dancewear is technical clothing for ballet, for jazz, for tap, hip-hop, samba, etc. And activewear is really the specialty. Activewear is clothing that is a mixture between fitness and fashion. And it's for women, like me, that want to be fit but aren't necessarily athletes. Okay, So the company started off um, this January. We were babies. We just got our trade license really this year. And March is when things started to kick off. We got our website set up. We started to sell dancewear out to different schools. And we realized that the dance market was not as big as we anticipated it would be. UAE is the big guy and everybody else has some you know, stra straggly bits of dance. And we started to do research on products that we thought that we could bring here to really uh, make us sustainable. We did a lot of research and we found that in the US and Australia and in the UK, there's a huge trend of an active lifestyle and to support that, there's clothing that makes active wear. And active wear is different from the typical athletic clothing that you would get at a typical sports store here. Active wear borrows from fashion and fitness. So from the fashion side, it borrows style and size. So, you know, people like uh, normal shaped women can actually fit into them. And from the fitness side, it borrows things like durability, wicking, which is uh, moisture absorption through uh, when you sweat, and... Um, of course, stretchability. Deviani, so, your two minutes are up. We're going to, to give the first question to our judge this evening, just to reintroduce him. He is Edward Roderick, co-chairman of Investors Middle East and North Africa. Edward. Deviani, Hi. just make it clear for me. Kay. Is this actually sports clothing, or is this really fashion clothing that has an element of sportiness about it? You know, I would say it is really, really smack in the middle, because if it was just fashion clothing, it might have some sweat absorption, it might have some stretchiness to it, and if it was only fitness, then it would be really focused on, you know, sort of dry fit, climb a cool kind of fabric. But this really has everything. You know, it has style, our clothes stretch about 40 to 400 percent, a lot of our clothing has UV protection, I mean 50, SPF 50 is the highest that it has, and um, a lot of our fabric, fabric that we use is suplex, Cool Max. These are new kinds of fabrics that are out with nanotechnology in them. But again, just to be clear, would I do exercise in this or would I just wear it to look good? You'd do both. You'd go to the gym in it and then after you'd go to Spinney's and buy your groceries and then you'd meet somebody and have coffee and then you go home. You would never look bedraggled and icky wearing it. And are you designing these from origins or are you importing these goods? We import them. We import them from the US and from the UK. Uh, Devayani, one thing, you're in a sector here, it strikes me, that's, that's fairly well populated with some heavyweight brands, sport come fashion brands, uh, your Nikes, your Reeboks, and everybody else. How are you going to differentiate yourself from those okay. uh, and have that, I guess, UAE local flavour? How do you compete? Well, um, I really don't view the typical athletic brands that like uh, Nike and Adidas as our competition because when I go into a Nike uh, or an Adidas store, you have to already be quite fit in order to fit into those clothes. And you already have to be in that very athletic sort of lifestyle. But we are not aiming for those kind of customers. We're aiming at women that are anywhere from a size zero to a size 18 who want to do things to feel healthy so that means you might take a yoga class, you might take a Zumba class, you might just want to go out for a walk, you might do some gardening. So that's really where I'm talking about. There's a lot of women who are not fit but want to get fit. Where do they start? They come to us. Deviani, 
So you're just importing these clothes from the United States. Are you having any input in design and getting them manufactured there, or are they just branded clothing from the United States? They are pretty uh, well-established brands in the uh, active wear range fr- within the U.S. and the U.K. Um, we are in touch with our suppliers on a daily basis, and we do have an input in terms of the design. Uh, we talk to them on Skype quite often, and sometimes they ask us about different things. For example, one of the things we tell them is, I really prefer higher necklines because the cultural sensitivity here does not really allow for deep V-necks for women. It's just not really culturally appropriate. So they're willing to modify clothing in order to suit those things. So, so it's not just you're, you're buying out of a catalogue. You are having some input on the design. Absolutely, absolutely. We have quite a lot of input on the design. Do you have unique contracts with these people? So are you the only person who can import them into these regions or are you just one of many and if you are unique how many countries do you have the rights over okay um we have exclusivity rights with all of our active wear suppliers and one dance wear supplier at the moment and what we have done is we have spoken to them and quite honestly told them that we are a baby company we're new so they've given us the rights to the uae with a hold on the gcc so in our first year at the end of the first year when we sort of evaluate how we've done you know assuming we hit certain targets then the gcc is ours so yeah i mean it would be fair to say that we have exclusivity rights with most of our brands within the region how are you going to sell them How are we going to sell them? How are you selling them? Okay. We have a couple of routes to market. Uh, One is B2C. We are online. We sell through shemovesonline.com. That's our website. Um, And then the other two routes to market are B2B. One is we have tie-ups with uh, gyms and schools. For example, we just tied up with Exhale Studios, uh, Dubai World Trade Center Club, uh, the Address Hotels. And what we do with them is we either put our products there on consignment or we have ar- arrangements with them where they have we have displays and they promote us and then you know we work out a deal. And then the final route to market is actual retail stores and we're working on this where we want to be in certain retail outlets that we think fit into our philosophy. You're a very new company at the moment. Yes. And presumably your sales are relatively small, but what's the rate of month on month growth that you're generating? Um that's an interesting question. Um okay. We launched with our dancewear, and um, my father joined me. We launched our dancewear in, let's say, the beginning of the year. My father joined me in June. And to be really honest, when uh, Dad joined me, um, he joined me full time. And that meant that, you know, we lost a paycheck. And what that means is we had to sort of reorganize our thoughts in order to get a business plan that catapults growth much faster. So we've actually been doing a lot of rethinking and reorganizing, and we're launching, we launched our website this week, which is why it's pretty awesome to be here, because you guys actually saw the new site. Um, So uh, we'll, you know, we'll see. We've had so much interest. I mean, we've done a lot of market surveys where we've spoken to a lot of people. I have to say, every woman that I've met who is within the target market and does exercise once a week that has seen our samples loves our product. We're running short of time. A couple of final questions. What does it cost? What's, um, I don't know, a T-shirt going to cost me or okay. my wife? We have, okay, two price points. One is a premium and one is a mass. The premium products are the ones with the very high sophisticated sort of uh, wicking, UV absorption, etc. I would say, compared to a Nike or an Adidas, they would be double. Okay. So and give, give me a dirham figure. Okay. Let's say you were buying a pair of trousers. They would be anywhere from 375 dirhams to 500 dirhams. And that would be your premium product. That would be my And premium. your mass market would be a little bit cheaper. Mass market would be like 150 dirhams. Quick, final quick, well, Edward's got a question. I've got one very quickly before Edward comes okay. in. People, tell us about the people involved. Tell us about you and your background. Okay. Uh, really quickly, my background is uh, dance. I, d- I grew up here. I danced ballet through the Royal Academy of Dance through uh, Dance Horizons School here and then I did a degree in dance specializing in the anthropology of African dance so it's quite a mouthful and then uh, lived the starving artist life, wandering choreographing, dancing and decided to change and did an MBA from Queens and uh, I had some retail experience with Landmark Group, I'm sure you guys have heard of a, a concept called Beauty Bay I was part of the core team that launched the concept. We opened 10 stores in 12 months. It was crazy. Um, the second person, uh, of course, that we have to talk about is my father, Mr. Ajay Dayal. 
he has been in the he's got business experience more than 30 years but within the UAE he's got 25 years and um, I think the best way to, to, to tell people the kind of genius that he brings to the concept is that he was the mastermind behind a company called Our Choice, which was launched in 1999. Um, he left Rivoli Group in 2002, and they had, I think, 42 shops at the time that he opened. Okay, we get the point. He's got a track record. Edward. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your major competitors? How are you going to fight against them when they realize you're starting to take some market share? Okay. Um, Concept-wise and philosophy-wise, we don't have a competitor. There's nobody who's doing active wear as such. So what I like to tell people is, you know, we are not a Starbucks versus Costa's kind of competitor. We're more like a Pizza Hut versus KFC, you know, where somebody could go somewhere, we could take them away. That's what we think of. Um, so um, concept-wise, I don't think we have competition as such. But in terms of uh, our competition, our main thing is awareness, which is why we kind of need to win. We want to tell people we're here and um, live and kicking. Finally, Deviani, this is, it sounds to me like this is basically a new family business. It is. I have to say, actually, you know, um, I tell people, yeah, it's just m myself and my dad, but I think it's my mom, too, because she wasn't working, you know, she was enjoying a lady of luxury kind of lifestyle, and she had to take on a job just to support us for the, you know, the last year, and I keep telling her, like, you know, just one more year and you can go back to it. So. Listen, Devayani, we're out of time. We're going to have to leave it there. But thanks very okay. much indeed for joining us. Devayani Dial there of She Moves Company. Now, we've heard already this evening from our first contestant. We heard from Charles Almamory of Pax Kent International. Lots of comments about Charles and Pax Kent. Any comments or thoughts about Devayani and her company, She Moves? We'd love to hear from you. 4001. Charles and Devayani are going to wait in the green room for a few minutes. Uh, Edward and Tim and myself are going to discuss these various organisations. We're going to get some of your feedback and your comments when we come back we're going to be having that debate and then before seven o'clock we're going to get charles and deviani back in and then we'll find out who's eliminated and who goes through to the next round stay with us for that <laughs>